Hello everyone, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Welcome to part five of Falcor's tutorial. You should have completed his head and done all four legs. Now, in case you didn't see at the end of the last video, I realized I didn't attach the top of the head to the back of the head, so hopefully you saw the note there and did that. And if not, just go back to the end of the video and just follow me as I make one attachment point for everything at the end because the forehead wasn't quite attached to the body so make sure it is so you should only have one set of loose ends at the end of the head okay so in this portion of the tutorial we will be doing we will be beginning his his neck okay so we're going to do the underside of the neck first i have my loom set up in the um the rectangular um format here so all I'm doing is I'm just taking two bands, two white bands at a time, and just going down all the way. So just filling up the entire loom, pretty much. Okay, now we're going to take two bands at a time, stretching them across all five pegs. And then I'm going to cap off each of these five ends at the bottom here. 
wrapping the band around the peg. You can make four loops. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And what I'm going to do is take a take your extra white bands. All we're going to do is just we're going to lay bands on the edges. Make sure these aren't stretched out bands. Make sure they're nice and tight. The ones that we lay over the pegs here. This is how we're going to be attaching the stomach to the body later via these bands. So make sure you put these on. your hook. We're going to loop up this row. So we're just looping up as if those bands aren't there, but we don't want them to come off. Okay, I'm going to put the loose bands all on the pegs on the opposite side. And let's loop up that side. If it lifts up after you loop it, it's not a big deal. Alright, I'm going to tie my ends off. I only have white next to me, so I'm just using white, but I recommend you use a color different from the white. Also tied around that loose band on the edge. I 
Okay, once you've pulled it off, we're going to pull all the loose bands outward. Okay. Take a look here. All right, awesome. So now we are going to be doing the top portion for the actual top of the dragon's neck. He is a dragon. I used to think he was a dog. <laughs> so we are taking three white bands at a time down the middle. Alright, now, on the back of his neck he has, instead of fur, he kind of has these scale-like things, so this is why I'm using the clear here. So it's totally up to you how many clear you want to use here. If you have a lot of clear, then use a lot, but I don't have, I only have one bag of clear, so I'm kind of keeping it to a minimum. But uh, I'm going to take two clears here, and then maybe like a clear, maybe like two clears again. So two clears there, two there, maybe two here, and two here. This will kind of give like a little scale-like look to him. Okay. And then maybe like a clear and a white. Maybe a clear and a white over here. I'm going to do both sides the same. So whatever you end up doing. Like maybe two white, two white, maybe two white again, two white again, and maybe two clear, two clear here, maybe a clear and a white, clear and a white, so just kind of use your judgment. All right, um, we'll do two clears, two clears. Clear and a white. Alright, and then maybe I'm going to do the rest white. Going the rest of the way down here. Maybe I'm going to put two clears. Well, here we should actually do white because our connecting bands are white. So, do white all the way down here. White all the way down this one. And 
But no matter how many clears you have, I would definitely put white down all the center because he has like this white furry line down the center of his back. So don't put any clear down the center row. I mean, you could, but I'm just saying that's what he looks like. All right, and again, I am stretching two bands across, two white here, and two white here, and two white here. If you can afford to do a clear band across every so often, do that. Maybe I'll put two clears here, and on the next one. And maybe on the next one as well. Put two whites. And two whites. Maybe I'll put two clear here. Two clear here. And two clear here. You just kind of have fun with it and do it however you want. Now, take your head and we're going to hold it upside down. We're going to attach the five ends to those five pegs. So go through the loops. Attach all the ends. Don't loop up anything. Okay, now we're going to take our stomach, we're going to go to the side with the capped bands. We're going to attach the cap bands onto these pegs as well. So the stomach is, make sure it's facing the same way as mine, so holding it like this. Go through the cap band, let's wrap the first one around. Once we've wrapped it, then we can loop up, okay, we want to wrap. The next one, up, wrap the next one, this is three bands there. one and let's go through the next one as well okay all right so we wrapped the tips around so now we're just gonna loop up every row to the end Middle row, make sure you grab all three every time. Alrighty, once you reach the end, tie slip knots around the ends.
And the clear bands should give him a little bit of a scaly like look on his back. Once we've done that, we can then pull off the tying bands here. We're not going to connect the stomach until the very end, so don't do that yet. so cool. All right, well, I hope you like him so far. Definitely go to the next part so we will begin to attach his, do his main body and attach his legs. Yay! See you over there, everyone.